In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this textured motion graphics effect in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, go ahead and create a timeline. I'm going to create this timeline quickly and also create a fusion composition. Head over to the composition in the fusion page and add a background now add another background but this time you can change the color to any color that you want i'm just going to keep this at red for now and connect it with our first background now drag in a polygon and create a line now you can create any sort of line that you want i'm going to create this line over here which is slightly curved as you can see and now I'm going to connect it with the background. So let's change the border width to 0 0.1. And let's also change the border style to this. So here you can see we have a line and you can just move this so that this is in the center. Now let's position these slightly. And while you have your background tool selected, go ahead and click control space and search for displays and add a display over here and go ahead and also add this fast noise and connect it with the displays so if you go over and click the fast noise and go over to this panel and let me just zoom in and now you will be able to see the texture effect that i'm going to create so if we go over to details and change this all the way to 10 you will see that we will get a slightly different kind of effect over here. And if you also change the contrast, you will see that now it is giving us that textured effect that we want. And if we see this from here as well, you can see we have this textured effect. And also on the y-axis, you can see that we have the same kind of effect. Now you can go ahead and play around with this to see how different it can look. But this is up to you, the kind of effect that you want. So this noise will allow you to get a textured effect with a line or a circle or any different kind of shape that you want. But since we're going to keep this as a line, I'm going to also show you how to do it with a circle. But right now, just we're going to see it with a line. So with this line, you can see that we have the kind of effect that we want. And if you want to change the color, you can always go back to background to color over here and change the color. So that's up to you. So once we have that, now we need a texture. So you can go ahead and download any texture that you want, or you can use any texture that you already have. But I have this texture over here. And if you want to use this texture, the link is in the description. So you can go ahead and download it from there. So go ahead and attach the texture with this merge. And make sure that this is larger than our shape. And let's go ahead and click on this merge that is connecting the texture. And change the apply mode to screen and the operator to in. Now go over to background 1 and change the alpha all the way to 0. And here you will see we have that texture within this shape that we created. Now you can go ahead and change the position of this. That's up to you, but I'm going to keep this right here. Now we can go ahead and start animating. So this is going to be pretty simple. You can go over to, let's say 20 and click on polygon and create a keyframe at length. Now go back to zero and you can change this to zero. And if you play this now, you can see we have this animating. But you can also go over to Spline, select your keyframes, and hit S. Now let me just go ahead and remove this polyline and only select the length. And over here, what you can do is you can simply drag this a bit. Each keyframe you can drag a bit. So now if you play this, this is the kind of effect that we will get. 
Now, once you have that done, you can go over to your timeline and drag your composition. And this is how it will appear. And now you can go ahead and add a text. So let's just go ahead and drag a text over here. So you can go ahead and choose any font that you want, but I'm going to go ahead with this Futura bold italic. And let's go ahead and change the size a bit. And you can also go ahead and change the size of the composition that we created so that this fits in with our text. And we can also position this like this. So if we play this now, this is how it will look. So now let's go ahead and animate the text as well. So let's go over to then create a keyframe at center in the layout section of the text. Go back to zero and change the y-axis a bit. And if you play this now, this is how it will look. All right. And now you can also go ahead and start adding elements in the background. And this is going to be fairly simple because we're just going to use the composition that we created. And... Let me just go ahead and show you how this will be done. So I just dragged in this composition once again. And this time I'm going to change the size of this. Change the position. Right here. And also change the rotation. So let's go over to 45 let's say. And we're going to duplicate this. So in order to duplicate what you can do is you can simply drag this by pressing alt on the keyboard and this will create a copy like this and now what you can do is change the rotation angle to minus 45 and this is how it will look and you can adjust this a bit so that this fits in like a cross over here and if you play this now you can see that this is animating as well and you can also change the position a bit so that this will give you so that the, the animation will be spaced apart a bit like this so you can go ahead and create as many of these as you want and just make sure that these are aligned properly so we're going to end the animation over here so let's just go ahead and play this so this is how it appears and let's just go ahead and Select both of these compositions for the cross that we have over here and right click. And this will give you an option to create new compound clip. If you press this, this will give you the option of creating a compound clip. Let's just name this as cross and hit create. And now once we have this, you can go ahead and duplicate this once again. And now you can position them somewhere else. So let's just go ahead, position this over here. Decrease the zoom a bit. So let's also change the position a bit. So I'm going to just move this slightly ahead of that animation that we have before this cross. So let's play this now. And here you can see once this gets animated, just with a few second delay, the other one is animating as well. And you can go ahead and do this as many times as you want. All right, and now let's select all of these and right click and create another compound clip. And let's call this compound cross. So that we have all of these in one place now that we have set all the animation but that's up to you you can keep this uh, as before as it was before or you can create a compound clip so now how do we add a circle we have already seen how to add this cross but how do we add a circle so that is also very simple I'm going to drag this fusion composition over here let's just say right here 
and let me just go ahead and dive in this composition so right click this and go over to open in fusion page and over here instead of this polygon let's go ahead and select this ellipse and just make sure that the ellipse is according to the size of this texture that we have so what we can do is go to the ellipse right click the width select expression and connect it with height and if we change the height now this will change the size of the height as well as the width so this will be you can say linked so once we have this over here let's just go ahead and remove this polygon and connect this ellipse with this background all right and now what we need is we need to deselect the solid and change the border width to 0 0.05 or that's up to you you can change this to wherever you want and let's also position this merge so that this fits in and here you can see this is how it looks but we don't want this to be too much textured so we can go over to fast noise and then decrease the scale a bit and you can also decrease the border width that's up to you I'm just going to go ahead with a effect like this so I think this looks much better now and now what we can do is we can animate this as well so let's go over to 20 in the ellipse create a keyframe at length go over to 0 and then set this to 0 as well and now let's also select the cap style over here so that we don't get any problems over here and this is how it will look and let's go back to the timeline so you can see we have our circle animating as well so you can reduce the size a bit and change the position once again you can just go ahead duplicate this and position them just like we did with the crosses so I'm just quickly going to do that All right, so I have created all these circles and now I have added them within a compound clip. So let's just go ahead and see how this all looks. So there you have it. I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.